Ladies and gentlemen, gladiators of the Colosseum, welcome back to Old World. I am, of course, Obata Potato, that's right. Um, we are currently playing as Queen Servilla Valeria the New, that's right. Um, we do indeed, we do indeed have a little bit of leadership turnover. Certainly we have had that uh, over the last couple of years, but that's okay. Slowly but surely, we're getting on top of things. What I really, 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 really want to accomplish over the course of this episode is to build at least one one hopefully two uh, brand new wonders that's right wonders are what we are going to be all about over the course of this episode and so uh, i'm hoping that we can uh, very much accomplish that there is still a, a barbarian threat a romantic evening yes please i yes sex this is important to <laughs> make it happen <laughs> <laughs> if only my husband wasn't called sexist. <laughs> oh. oh, he's asked for time in your busy schedule to be together, to rekindle the passion. Well, I mean, how can I say no to sexist? How can I say no <laughs> to sexist? <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Immediately opening strong. I like that. That's a good strong opener to the episode. Okay, my ambassador has gained a little bit of experience. Um, my ambassador is quite aged. Yes. Um, sure. I feel like it doesn't really matter what I do. Oh, and also, I have gained more experience. I will take a, a little bit of extra discipline just to level up my cash just a little bit. So that is very, very good indeed. Uh, we are slowly but surely bringing our worker down to this area over here with the road. Uh, of course, we want to try and make sure that every individual city is connected up to the uh, to the big long network. Not necessarily for connective purposes, but more so that we can uh, you know deliver an army as and when it is required. Uh, also, just to give you a brief appraisal of where we actually are at this moment in time. Now, we are three points behind Greece when it comes to uh, when it comes to victory points. Thirty-two points is the uh, is the required number. Now, that might seem like it's quite far away. However, 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 it's not actually going to be too darn difficult for us to get there. I mean straight away, straight away you can see we're going to be expanding to this Gaul territory at some point. Maybe not this episode, maybe the next episode. That territory is going to be taken, that territory is going to be taken, and this territory is going to be taken down here as well. So, you know, there's a lot of options when it comes to, uh, when it comes to attacking the Gauls, and I'm looking forward to doing it. In fact, tell you what, it's probably an idea to research my enemies and see what the heck is going on down here. Assyria, is Assyria at war with the Gauls? They've got a truce with the Gauls, which is good. Uh, we can go back to war with the Gauls at some point, and indeed we probably will. There is a chariot down here, which is rather irritating. In fact, it's very irritating, because I am still technically at war with, uh, with, with, these, with these chumps in Greece. But that's, that's it, I guess. No, 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 no. Just, just attack. Uh, no, okay. You need to be here. And then it... Excuse me, what are you doing? There we go. That's that's exactly what I was after. Okay. Need to be a little bit closer, but that pretty much got us there. Uh, I can't really wipe you out. However, we can deal some pretty significant damage. And so if we, uh, we attack you, then that's great. And uh, I'm sure we'll be able to take you out. Maybe not this turn, but definitely... Definitely next turn. Sure. I mean, it is a fairly substantial chariot. At maximum, he's going to be able to, you know, deal a little bit of damage to me, but that's about it. Also, we got an archer down here. Hmm. I might take the archer. I might take the archer down here and uh, and get that sort and get him sorted out, get him killed. But I don't really think it's it's that worth it. I mean, no. I think we're just gonna we're gonna leave that right over there. Or alternatively. Another option. There we go. Get the slinger. Any Anyone else that's sort of remotely within range? The swordsman. Ah, we've only got one. We've only got one order. Okay, well, we almost managed to take him out. So we are going to take a little bit of damage if, indeed, Greece decides to attack. Alternatively, they might just retreat and, uh, and save me the hassle of even contemplating that. 
Oh yes, I did forget to attack the barbarians, but that's fine. The barbarians are going to be around for a while. Delegation from Assyria arrives with a marriage proposal for my heir. Wonderful. You're not bad. You're not bad. Courage 3, Wisdom 2. I don't dislike that. Yeah, Courage 3, Wisdom 2. Alternatively, this guy, Discipline and Wisdom. I think I think I actually prefer the second guy who is a little bit wiser. We're going to get 20 opinion with Assyria. Not like it really particularly matters. And we're going to get a little bit of food as well, which is which is quite nice. Right. Let's uh, attack these barbarians, shall we? We'll just wipe them off the face of the planet. With my brand spanking new archers. Let's also see if we can ride a chariot into their faces. That's right. You heard me. There we go. Let's take you out. Does cost us a little bit of uh, a little bit of training, but that's totally fine. I want to try and get as many people upgraded and experienced as as possible. Like that's what I'm all about. We're, we want to make sure that we've got somebody sitting on all of the ranges, all of the barracks, all of uh, all of that sort of stuff. That's what we're all about. Right. Ooh. Okay. So this is a what looks to be a Greek city. Oh, yes. That's right. That is a spearman. That is a spearman right there. Now, you can't actually leave the city unless you want to attack me. I don't think I particularly want to force this issue, although I could. I also do want to get upgrades to all of my slingers. However, the problem with doing that is that that is going to cost me wood, and wood is one of the things that I really want to not faff around with. Uh, I really want to save as much as I possibly can. Upgrade to amazement? Yeah, let's get you upgraded to amazement. That sounds absolutely reasonable. You, as well, can be upgraded to amazement too. Yeah, happy with that. This boat can just come here, come back in, and just uh, chill out. Ah, I, uh, I haven't done my events yet. Always, always a bad idea. Peace with the Danes. This feels wrong. Oh, yes. Our vassal... Our vassal Hostus Claudius Aritinus has offered to secure a peace with the Danes. I don't really care about a peace with the Danes, to be honest. This feels wrong. This feels wrong. Who who are you? You are... You're a nobody to me? You're just a vassal? Okay, this feels wrong. Let's just not touch that. Not even worth it. Right. Research. Research, research, research. What do we care about? Theology... Maybe. Coinage. Maybe. Spearman. I think, to be honest, I, I kind of value the Spearman. Not necessarily because it's a particularly good unit, but just because we get it out of the way. I mean, is there a specific bit of tech that I've got my that I've got my eye on at this moment in time? I mean, the Catapult is indeed quite nice if we can get our hands on it. A library. A library is also not a bad idea. Citizenship for, uh, for professional army law is, is pretty darn good. Yeah, that's not that's not terrible either. I don't know why I clicked that. Um, I, a pikeman, a longbowman. I feel like a longbowman is is kind of what I'm after, right? Like these guys seem pretty good. At least I'm presuming that they're pretty good. If the archers are pretty good, unfortunately, nothing that helps me out at this moment in time. So I will instead just go for the cheapest and the quickest tech. I didn't utilize the builder properly, but that's totally fine. Uh, a trade offer. A trade offer from Babylon. Absolutely excellent. Well, I'm not going to be going to war with Babylon for a while yet. Oh my goodness. Whatever option we choose, I'm going to get 196 coins per turn for absolutely nothing. I, I flip and love it. All right. Give them some training points. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. 196 free income. Oh, it's so good. Right, my son is upset with me. I don't know why he's upset with me, but that's totally fine. Uh, you get some courage in you, son. Get some courage in you because we're we're all about we're all about courage here. Right. No more uh, no more orders, unfortunately. We do need a little bit of extra legitimacy. Ah, yeah, that was kind of what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's pretty irritating. But as it stands, I think we might. Whoa! 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 All right, you've decided to go to war with me hardcore. Aretium? Where the heck is Aretium? Brilliant. Okay, there's going to be a barbarian raid down here. That's really rather irritating. 
Okay, well, I mean, do I wanna do I wanna fight this? I don't really think that I wanna fight this. This dude is much stronger than me. It's gonna consume 200, uh, 200 civics in order to get this done, but I think we're gonna I think we're just gonna piece him out, to be honest. Right. Put you over there. Brilliant. And let's get this area improved. We'll get some uh, some gems. Yep, that's very, very good. We need gems as quickly as we possibly can. Let's continue to build a road down here, even though I know, I know it's... It's taken a while, but that's fine. It's gonna be worth, it's gonna be worthwhile. Any further barbarians up in this area? I don't think so. No. So let's not worry about the barbarians over there. Let's worry about the barbarians down here, apparently. Oh yes, I see the barbarians. They're coming. Right, hide in the trees. Hide in the trees and uh, and keep careful watch. And we'll see if we can get the camel archer dispatched to guard Arietum. Cool. Nice. And in fact, to tell you what, we can move the maceman across when we've got some more points next turn. Right. Babylon's memory of me has been reduced. That's fine. Time passes quickly and you still remember the birth of my daughter. She's growing up. What do we want her to do? Civics? Maybe civics, but I'm not really sure that I'm that bothered. Tell you what, let's get you to study commerce. We don't have many. We don't have many people in our empire who are qualified at studying at studying commerce. Not to any substantial degree. But we can get that rectified swiftly. Wonderful. And then we will end the year. Right, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of lumber production. I tell you what, I really, really love it. It's really, really good. Right, the Ishtar Gate has been completed by Egypt, and the Great Ziggurat has been completed by me. Fantastic. So that is going to give us an extra additional point. And I'm also now known as the Mason, which is wonderful. A truce proposal. Our people have suffered greatly in the ongoing conflict. All the gold we spread in the war could be spent here in Rome. Perhaps it's time for a truce with Greece. Now, I don't really know if Greece is going to be prepared to just let me walk away from this conflict without contributing something. So I'm going to offer. I'm going to offer to pay. I'm going to offer to pay a little bit of cash. I'm going to offer to pay a little bit of cash and we will give them 13 gold for 40 years. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Absolutely, I'm happy with that. Reports from the school uh, receives rhetoric training, paint a disappointing picture. She must work harder at her training. Or, she has the full support of the throne. Um, she has the full support of the throne, sure. Let's, uh, let's roll with that. What do we want for research? I think we are probably going to see if we can try and get a free maceman. And then we can progress on with, uh with our full research. It is done. The ziggurat will stand as a testament to our people for all time as a symbol of accomplishment today and of the glories yet to come. Two extra legitimacy. That means some more orders. So that makes me very, very happy indeed. Are we at legendary culture yet? Wow, we're not even at developing culture here. Well, that's a that's a straight up problem. That is that is a straight up problem. We need we need a lot more culture. Right, more lumber mills, more lumber mills, more lumber mills. Now, I would really appreciate if you didn't scroll all the way across to the other side of the of the map video game. There we go. Good. What else do we need to do? Another range? Honestly, another range is not a terrible idea. Gives me more training points and also allows me to gain some additional archer experience. Right. Now that we have stopped our war with Greece, just temporarily, mind you, I'm sure we will need to go back to fight them at some point in the future. We can start getting all of our troops moved over to the Barbarian Incursion Area. There we go. Let's get you linked up here. Fantastic. We've actually legitimately got a road. Brilliant. Let's get that turn passed. Let's get you to go and do... Shrine of Mars, honestly, don't hate that idea. Don't hate that idea at all because culture is king. We all know that culture is king and so are military points, training points as well. In a bid for power, the Claudii wish to place one of their own posthumous. Posthumous? Who's my son on the throne. They decry the ruling bloodline is reckless and corrupt. Um, I hate to break it to you, but 
My husband and my daughter are both of the bloodline that you claim to insult. Which is... It's not good, actually. It's not good at all. I honestly think that I gotta stick... I gotta stick with my daughter. I gotta stick with my daughter on this. It's gonna... It's gonna irritate the Claudius family. I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. Ah, screw it. Right, I mean, you know what? It's fine that the families get irritated at me. I'm I'm not in a... I'm not in a caring mood. Not today. No siree. Speaking of, actually, we've unlocked the ability to get a Spy Master, which is wonderful, and we're absolutely going to take that opportunity because it is going to boost up our family opinion just a little bit. I'm going to put the person in this role who can best assist us in placating the families. There we go. So if we put you in there, if we put our cousin in there, then uh, then that means that we are only in negative five territory, which is which is not super bad actually. It's not super bad. We can we can probably probably fix that up reasonably reasonably soon. Right. So the goals are over here. The goals have got absolutely nothing. In fact, we're gonna punish the goals. Punish the goals hard for thinking that they can step to me. Right. Let's see what the cities need to manufacture. Nothing really of, of interest at this moment in time, I don't think. Nothing particularly important. I'll do a council for a year. Sure, why the heck not? And then we'll see if we can try and get our hands on a little bit more culture. Honestly, yeah, probably we want to just try and get some more... Some more culture producing... Some more culture producing specialisms. Apprentice officer, brilliant. Yeah, I think that's honestly fine. And over here, an Axeman, a forum. I'm going to build a forum, although... Actually, I won't build a forum. I'm not going to build a forum because we're after we're after more stone. We still need more stone. Build instead a... Is an Axeman better than a Maceman? Six strength in comparison to five. Yeah, it totally is. Don't know why I would even think otherwise, but there we go. That's a pretty full turn, actually. I'm feeling really rather good about this. Uh, controlling the Acropolis, as long as we start construction in, like, the next turn or something, I'm sure we'll be totally fine. Fine. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for that information video game. Judaism has just spread to one of my cities. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's totally fine. That's totally, totally fine, in fact. Uh, we don't really want it, though, because we've got our own religion, Zoroastrianism, or however... However it is said, just just not about that life. Just not about that life. Hate to say it, but just not for me. All right, move as many troops over here as we possibly can. And you, Mr. Worker, now that you've connected up this area, you can probably just go and yeah, build some nets. Build some nets over here. Oh, I'll tell you what, we could build some harbors to help spread the borders. That would be a pretty nice idea. Not super against that. Received an update from your son in training. He complains about the harshness of military exercises and weapons drills and wishes us to hire a veteran soldier to tutor him privately. Come home, your family misses you. Lol, we are proud and will send a tutor promptly. 340 gold for the for the wellness of my of my family. That's that's yeah, it's a lot of a lot of money. Well, hey, a culture event. Wonderful. A large fiery body streaks across the heavens, visible from every corner of the nation. Scholars wonder if this phenomenon heralds a bright new age, or if it acts as a sign of dark times to come. Uh, am I governor of a city at the moment? Leader of Rome? I don't think I'm... I... Governor of Antium. I am governor of Antium. So that would give me five gold per culture level. I think I might take the charisma bonus yeah i think that's actually far and away the best for me it'll give me the most the most good stuff after a series of arguments uh families have both put forwards for the candidates okay fine people have put put forwards uh candidates for the position of ambassador i'm okay with that i'm okay with that wow princess camille claudia you are absolutely incredible you are absolutely incredible, Princess Camilla. The, you are my daughter. So, yeah, you're the absolutely perfect person for the job. Do you see that, by the way? 70-player opinion. 
70 player opinion, 20 barbarian opinion. That means that, yeah, literally instantly, overnight, all of the other factions love me. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it, folks. That is just absolutely exceptional. Brilliant. Okay, build a build an axeman. Ten years is a little bit of a little bit of a long time, but that's okay. Uh, let's get this worker to go and do something. I guess we will. I guess we will build a camp over there. Sure, you can just honestly look. You just go to sleep. You just go to sleep. I don't need to hear about updates from you every now and again. We just we just don't need it. We don't need it. Right. How many workers do I have available to build the Acropolis? I need more workers. I need way more workers. It's going to be two turns until I get a worker that's free. We're doing the council in Rome on this turn, which is going to give me which is going to give me some civics and some money. How long will it take to build a worker? It'll take a little while. I think I'll queue that up, honestly. Uh, and in fact, I'll move that to the front of the production queue. I, I feel like we're building a lot of stuff. And there's always, like, this balance that you need to strike between having enough workers to reasonably, you know, cope with all of the demands of building up an empire. At the same time, you don't want a, a mausoleum. The maus there, there's a difference between the mausoleum and the museum. Apparently, this is the great museum, i.e. the great... Library of Alexandria, I think that's the the one. Don't quote me on that though. Don't don't quote me on that at all. Right. Uh mounted archer, ballista, market improvements. Wow, this is a garbage, 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 garbage hand of research. I wish I could redraw it. Well, if we're being advised to go for the mounted archer, then I guess we'll go for the mounted archer. Right. Fine. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep right there. That's totally, totally fine. Uh, are we ready to go to war with the Gauls again? Pretty much, to be honest. Pretty much. We got our free macemen over here, which is nice. I think I would like to get everybody back into the city. There we go. Actually, can I undo both of those moves? Get you over there, and then get you over here. Yeah, perfect. That works so much better. And then everyone can just chill out over here and gain a bunch of experience, because that's what we're really after. Let's move you down to here. Excellent. Everyone else is chilling out nice and comfy. Let's get you healed up. Uh, you ideally could get onto a city space just in case, and we are ready to go to the next turn. Excellent. I mean, Greece is a little bit worrying, a little bit worrying indeed, although I, I actually suspect that Greece is probably going to be at war. My husband is now severely ill. Not great. He's providing a little bit of courage, a little bit of wisdom. He is 51 years old, though, so, I mean, he's had a, he's had a good, he's had a good, uh, a good go of it. Yeah, is Greece at war with anyone? Greece is at war with the, the Danes. Ideally, I'd like to try and convince maybe Babylon to go to war with Greece against me. I don't really know where Greece is. I mean, we know where their capital is. I think their capital is... Yeah, all the way up here. Do we know anyone... Argos, man. Know anyone else that would want to go to war with, to war with Greece? It's got to be... Babylon's up there. It's got to be Babylon. Babylon has to help me out in my uh, in my crusade against the Greeks. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. Uh, a rabble of barbarian refugees are settled outside the gates of, uh, of Antium. They request our aid and sanctuary. Yes, I will absolutely let them in. We could gain five orders and a scout. I don't care about a scout. I care about a citizen. Citizen is what we are after. Uh, and in fact, Antium, we should probably work on expanding the number of specialists we have in the city. I imagine. Yep, we've got seven citizens that are currently free. Right, let's get you over there. Tell you what, we need to get more stuff built in Antium. This is why, this is exactly why we need more workers, just in general, you know? We're desperate for more workers. Right, let's have a little look at what we require for the Acropolis. 
we can actually do this as long as we've got strong culture. What have we got in Rome? We've got strong culture. You love to see it. Right, I want to see if I can try and move a worker around to Rome this turn. So we're going to put you into march mode. And we're going to get you into Rome. And now... You're recommending that we build the Acropolis right there. I tell you what, I will absolutely take that. Absolutely very, very happy with that. 400 wood, 800 stone, 16 years in order to build it. However, now that we've built it, I believe that means that nobody else can build it, which is very, very nice indeed. Makes me very, very happy indeed. Uh, we've already got a mine here. We're probably going to build another mine there. I tell you what, why don't we build a shrine of Vulcan since it increases mine output by 50%. Seems reasonably sensible. Let's also build a lumber mill right over here. Let's continue to pump out as much wood as we possibly can. There is literally no downside. Literally no downside. It also means that now all of our wood can be, I guess, refocused. Refocused to overhauling our existing slinger army. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So... My granddaughter has received an additional point of wisdom. Nice. And my daughter has given birth to a daughter. Congratulations. Excellent. So that is a nice little combo there. Let's get you inside there. Fine. It's a Greek chariot that really worries me deeply, in fact. Right. Tactic studies. Uh, it's completed study of tactics. This is my son. Fourth in line. What role suits him best? Probably a tactician. Probably a tactician. I mean, we need way more generals just in general. <laughs> we need way more generals just in general. You heard it here first. The more generals, the merrier, really. All right, what else can we build? Enables Acolyte. No. I think we'll build a pasture right over here. We do need a lot more orders. I do feel like the number of orders we have is, is frankly inadequate. Also, something that you can do. I've got some workers over here that are going to be finishing up their buildings in just a bit. Once they're done with their buildings, I think I'm going to move them over to... Or try to move them over to the... Uh, to the Acropolis that we're building. Because I believe that in some circumstances, depending on what modifiers you've got, you can actually have more than more than one worker building a uh, building a building, which is kind of nice. Brilliant. The merchant has tutored the second in line, my granddaughter, uh, an additional point of charisma. This is why it's great to make sure that your court is is pretty substantial. Delegation from Greece arrives for my son. Uh, yeah, honestly, don't hate it. Don't hate it at all. And if I was to make Gorgo... If I was to make Gorgo governor of Beneventum... Can I make... Can I put Gorgo in charge here? I don't think I can put Gorgo in charge here. That's a shame, because I would have loved to put somebody in charge of Beneventum that increased the mines and increased the output of the mines. We already have the modifier from the Shrine of the Vulcan. But, you know, the more the merrier, right? The more the merrier. Right. Commerce studies. How shall she contribute to the court now? A diplomat or a schemer? I think... Honestly, I will... do... Also, my husband died. <laughs> Didn't notice that one. Sure. Become a schemer. That's totally fine. Tribal migration scouts report large number of Scythian settlers crossing into our borders. What should we do? Allow them to settle and assimilate. 40 discontent, but two citizens. Or persuade them to leave peacefully. Or we must defend our lands from invasion. Uh, I mean, what is Rome's discontent looking like? Oh, it's looking fine. There's nothing, there's nothing to be upset about there. Like, at all. So, you know what? We will soak up the additional the additional discontent. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll also probably queue up a festival as well. If we queue up a festival, then that means we won't have to worry about these things. So, reset that. 
excellent. And then we can have a little look. In a bid for more power, Claudia wishes to place one of their own on the throne. Again? This event has triggered again? So they want to place my granddaughter, who's third in line on the throne. And I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to just upset them again, am I? I mean, I want my daughter to be... I want my daughter to be heir. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. The cities now are all producing, you know, a lot fewer resources. But I don't think I can really do anything about that, to be honest. I think we just gotta, I think we just gotta lump it. I think we just gotta lump it. Get you healed up. Get you healed up. Get you back in here. Get you healed up. Excellent. Do we have anywhere else that our armies need to be? No, not really. Let's get you moved over here and let's build a Shrine of Mars. Excellent. The more training points, the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get you upgraded to become an archer. Excellent. Also, the more archers, the merrier, right? We're all about the archer life. We got a worker in uh, in one turn coming from Rome, which is also pretty darn good. And we'll have the Acropolis in 14 turns, maybe less if I can stack up multiple workers on the tile. A uh, barbarian raid, that's fine. All right, after a visit to an aesthetic retreat, your daughter Duchess uh, Drusilla Claudia returns to her palace moved by her experiences. My fourth in line. My fourth in, fourth in line to the throne daughter. She wanders about the role of humanity in the greater cosmos, unsure if a person should question their place or submit to a higher authority. Uh, she gains scholar, unlocks inquiry in the capital, can redraw texts, can serve as governor or ambassador, gives her three wisdom. Uh, we are all at the mercy of the divine. To be honest, I like nine science, although that seemed to reduce my science. Bit funky. All right. And well, lucky, lucky individual. Uh, there's a there's a marriage proposal. Congratulations. I don't really think that I want either of these people. Oh, you do have the forester trait. You do have the forester trait. Oh, that's good. That's good. You do have the forester trait, and that means that maybe, just maybe, I can get you. I can get you equipped. Yes, let's get a garrison. Let's get a garrison built right now, and then maybe we can get a forester... a forester to forest in this city. And speaking of, I want to buy two additional... I can only buy one citizen because all the others are equipped. Uh, we're gonna buy additional citizens over here because we can expand the borders by utilizing these specialists. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Right, so I can stack up workers. I don't have that bonus in place at this moment in time. Is that a problem? No, not really, not at all. I mean, 13 turns is quite a long time for the Acropolis, or quite a long time to wait for any building, just in general. But it's something that I can very much endure. Right, you would like to build a hamlet here. An urban building ignores adjacency requirements. Yeah, you know what? Let's, um... Let's build a hamlet here. Why the heck not? We don't a we don't actually have any hamlets. Hamlets are uh, are pretty unique little areas that are uh, that are pretty darn cool. And so, I'd like to get I'd like to get that set up, if at all possible. What have we got? The price of power. After months of erratic behavior, my daughter. This wasn't my heir, was it? No. She's discovered dead in her chambers. No. She took her own life. She was oh oh no. Oh, that's, that's not, that's not good. I will stand by my daughter in the face of scrutiny. No, I'm afraid not. That's, that's, I need the, ah, man, that's so irritating. I was banking on her surviving. I'd, I'd irritated the Claudius family so much, so much. Right, I'm going to send them gems. Maybe that'll make them happier. Uh, I'm going to send them some family gifts. Maybe that'll make them happier. We can only but hope. Uh, let's get an ambassador, 30 player opinion. I don't, do I really care about player opinion? I kind of do a little bit. However, I believe, I believe it's going to make the family a little bit happier if I choose a, yeah. Okay, it's going to make the family much happier 
if I put in a Claudius member as opposed to uh, as opposed to anyone else. So uh, we got to keep the families happy. We got to keep all the families happy. Otherwise, otherwise nobody's happy. Frankly, that's the that's the state of the nation at this moment in time. Right. We also need to start thinking about other wonders. And I'm going to have a little look on this turn right now. I am severely ill. I'm severely ill at the age of 55. That's that's not good. That's not good. What is this? Uh, our scientists rave about Scythians, specifically the tribe's cult of mystic. Mystics known as the Tree Seers. All right. What would I like? Uh, peace with the Scythians. Do I have, am I at war with the Scythians? No, I'm not at war with the Scythians, but peace is nice. So an additional point of wisdom or 120 discontent or barbarians have nothing to teach us. Uh, we'll accept their, we'll accept their wisdom. Host the sages and hear the words of the teacher. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, look at how much, look at how much science that gave us. I mean, that was absolutely worthwhile if it gave us that much science. So that's really, really good. One thing I will say, ooh, build harbor. Yeah, that's nice. Let me have a little look at the, the wonders. What do we got? The Grand Bazaar. Need legendary, legendary culture for that, legendary culture for that, legendary culture for that. And what have I got in terms of culture in Rome? Nowhere near legendary. We're about to hit strong level 2, which is nice. But we need to get all the way up to strong level 3 in order to surpass legendary. So I think, I think in order to ensure that that happens, we probably see if we can try and, I don't know, bash out a little bit more, a little bit more culture from this area. Certainly wouldn't be a bad idea. Certainly wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, we'll do that next turn then. That's fine. I think one worker down in uh, down in our newest city. I think this is our newest city. Yeah, one worker down in our newest city is totally adequate. All right, and we probably want to try and get a road connected up between Beneventum and, and Capua. Bit of a funky name, but there you go. Yeah, so let's start... Uh, Let's start putting down the foundations for a road. You know what? Burn through this and give me... I... Ooh! Three adjacent mountains, so I would gain, like, a ridiculous amount of stone. Sure. You know what? Let's, let's rock and roll with a quarry right there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go Horatio... Let's do this. Your doctors and diviners have warned that the end is near. All right, that's not good. It's not good. Okay, lots and lots of daughters. Your vassal family appreciates the gifts. Brilliant. Does the family hate me less? The family still hates me a significant amount. Not good. Not good at all. Right, an act of solidarity. Citizens of Rome are volunteering in droves. They wish to show their local pride. We can command them to work or fight. Uh, they should engage in hard labor. They should take up weapons. They should take up weapons. If in doubt, we are Rome. We will take up weapons. Right. Land consolidation is the route that I have chosen to follow, which is great. And so we'll do it. A local judge appeals to the court for a decision in a controversial dispute between a father and daughter. The daughter, who was with child, dreamt that she gave birth to a flood that swept away the city. The father, believing the dream prophetic, waited until the child was born and then killed it. How shall we rule? Execute the father? Is this somebody who commands an army at the moment? I don't... Your in-law? Wait, so... The... the father acted with pure intentions? I mean... Compensate both for their suffering? I think maybe that's what we want to do. Is the commander any good? The commander's not bad. He's he's spouse of my spy master. All right. Um. Yeah, this puts me in a little bit of an awkward spot. Compensate both for their suffering. I feel like you know it's the ultimate conflict avoidance mechanism within me. Just you know do do whatever it takes to just you know forget about it. Right. Uh. Let's continue with this road. We're gonna start at the other end and just build a road, and we'll meet in the middle. That is great gonna build a mine yes please a whole bunch of gold and a little bit of culture you can't go wrong with a little bit of culture folks yeah we still don't have enough workers that's what's crazy is that we still do not have enough workers we need more of them we need more 
we need way more workers. Uh, I also feel like I should go to war with somebody. Our old ruler is dead. Now begins the reign of Queen Domitia Claudia the New. Uh, and you're now at a truce with the Scythians. That's fine. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I didn't really like you as a ruler. The fact that the fact that my daughter died was a big old problem. 40 additional experience for me. 10 years old. That's... That's... That's, that's, that's a problem. It's a problem. That's pretty... Pretty young. Pretty... Pretty young indeed. But, you know, young is good. Young is good. It means that we've got an opportunity to improve significantly. And so I hope we shall. Right. Uh, we can indeed stick the merchant in my court into the governorship, which is honestly not a terrible idea. I think I might do that. Does mean that he's not going to tutor my court anymore, but that's fine. A group of one, uh, a commander of one of our amazement squads has received numerous reports of raiders prowling the nation's roadways. He seeks the court support to root out these villains and restore security. Uh, track and kill these outlaws. Yes, please. That's great. Let's do that. It's time to choose your next ambition. What would we like to do? Five poly polybolus or cataphracts. Control three legendary culture cities or control nine connected cities? Uh, I mean, nine connected cities is is definitely possible. Is definitely possible. It's just the difficulty of actually controlling nine cities in the first place. But in saying that, I think that that's probably the most easy desire to fulfill. In saying that, however, I probably want to try and pursue the Claudius... Yeah, I probably want to try and pursue the Claudius thing so that they don't hate me. Right, Polybolus is like the highest military tech. Right, let me see if I can change my... Right, Poly Polybolus. I said it was the highest. I might have been fabricating a little bit. Polybolus. This is down here. All right, we're now reconfiguring our... Our route. Conscript, horseman, ballista. No. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go for we're gonna go for that. We still need to get if we got navigation, we've got navigation. We are required to get torsion as well. And in order to get torsion, we need to require we need to get siege craft. Okay, you know what? Just continue. Continue to get land consolidation for now. That'll put us in put us in good shape. Right. Not loving not loving that, but it's okay. It's fine. Build a barracks. I don't really think that a barracks is super required, although in saying that, it's always good to have as many barracks as we possibly can. You are going to continue to build out the road over here. There we go. Same with you. Nice. Lovely road. And what would we like to build over here? To be honest, more... More specialists would be great. We don't have... We don't have specialists though, and so therefore I guess we'll build a we'll build a forum. We'll build an archive. I'll tell you what, I might build might build an archive first, but actually no, I'll build a forum first because a forum will give me civics, and civics is what I need in order to build the archive, and so therefore it's what I should do. Right. So as soon as this as soon as this garrison gets done, I would like to equip a forester general. That'll be great. You are dead. The ruler of Greece is dead. I don't think that's a problem. And also, Babylon is dead and reports of a... Oh. There's a barbarian raid over here. Folks, anyone? Just me? There's a barbarian raid over here. So there you go. Yeah, the more you know, eh? And a road. Man, I do enjoy building roads from both ends with workers. It's very helpful. Speaking of, what do we got up here? 
There we go. We'll do a little bit of damage. Uh, I'm going to see if we can try and get some more units involved in the fighting here. A little bit of experience never hurt anyone. All right, can I move... Can I move this unit first? Uh, you're not quite within range, unfortunately. All right, just go back. Do that again. Fine. I'd love to kill you. I tell you what, I'm just going to move. I'm just going to move you into march mode. Ugh, can't do that. And attack you there. Yeah, the XP is, is totally worth getting, I think. Surprising news, a squad of masemen we sent to protect the roads has encountered fierce resistance. Bandit, acti bandit activity in the area proves to be much more widespread than we anticipated. In fact, one might call this a rebellion. Send what is needed to send in more forces. Spend, sorry, spend what is needed to send in more forces. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Our forces can handle the area. Gain an Axeman? I mean, an Axeman for free is, is quite nice. I think I'll take an Axeman, to be honest. Although, we have already handled it. <laughs> I think I think that was the unit. That was the Revel unit. There was a, it was a Slinger as well. And we had already got a whole bunch of melee troops around here, so we absolutely annihilated it. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, scouts have discovered the remains of a merchant caravan sacked by raiders. Among the bodies and discarded supplies like great slabs of exotic green marble too large for simple thieves to carry. All right, um, my my merchant is ecstatic about it. Brilliant. Sell it and give it the proceeds to the poor. Um, I mean, that's that's great. Two charisma points straight off the bat is fantastic. She is not the governor of any city at this moment in time. It's not to say she'll never be governor. However, I think that the extra charisma is probably going to end up paying dividends. Yeah. Okay, go for that then. Take the extra charisma, get the extra get the extra civics income. Yeah, that's what we're all about. Right, let's get you upgraded to an archer. Let's get you upgraded to an archer. Uh, we don't have an order, enough orders, so we'll leave that there then. Build a axeman. It's going to take 12 years, but it's going to be totally worthwhile. Claudia's family is so darn close to not hating me. Right, next turn we might just be able to pay them off. Master of Poisons. Our spy master approaches us with an unusual request. A laboratory for poison. She explains she explains it. Additional research into poisons and venomous creatures would increase her ability to combat intrigue. Intrigue must remain honorable. Does she like me? She likes me at the moment, so I, I can indeed do that. Becomes Master of Poisons. Master of Poisons trait. Right? No idea what that means. But poisons are indeed a powerful weapon, so sure. Let's let's do it. You are a master of poisons, and there is no more information on that. Presumably, we're able to poison people slightly more effectively. You've got to imagine that that's exactly what we're able to do. Right. I think, honestly, we're uh, we're probably getting to the point where we're ready to go to war with the Gauls. Right. Wonderful. A good show there. And let's get these Axemen out over here. If we can involve our units in as many fights as possible, then we will be in a good state when it comes to the actual assault on Babylon or indeed the Gauls again. Uh, but mostly, I think, probably the Gauls we're, we're concerned about. Uh, I need to get a governor in Ostia. And I need somebody who is yes, 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 a thousand times yes. You are exactly what I need. Plus 50%, plus 50% output. That's so perfect for lumber mills. Holy cow. 102, 102 wood per turn. That is exactly what we need. Honestly, the more lumber mills, the merrier. Unfortunately, we are all out of actions this turn. All out of orders, mostly because of the barbarians that I decided to that I decided to destroy. Maybe I shouldn't have done that on this turn. I could have waited. I could have waited, but I didn't, so it's fine. It doesn't matter. All right, we end up taking a tiny little bit of damage, but that's totally fine. Let's see what we've got. Yikes, that's a bit of a bummer. A free camel archer in four years. I would just like this, please. 
cartography trireme. Uh, I mean, the camel archer, if I don't take it, it's going to be discarded. So I think I'll take the camel archer. There we go. And what about you? Anyone else? No, we don't have anyone else that's actually in range to... To take that dude out. Okay, well, I might move these units in in just a second, but we'll uh, we'll wait for that. Let's get you back to the city just for a second. All right, other event. New type of animal discovered. Scientists in, in Brundisium claim to have discovered a new species of lizard in the sand dunes outside the city. Brilliant. Declared a protected resource to legitimacy minus an order. Send an expedition to learn more about them or leave this matter to the locals. I feel like the science is arguably best the legitimacy is nice but i think the science is best i mean that that allows us to complete the camel archer in uh in record time eh right let's get you upgraded to an archer since we've got so so many flipping bits of wood which is lovely build barracks build a harbor um yeah actually that's kind of what I'm, I'm gonna do. I've yet to build a harbor, and therefore let's just get one... Let's get one started. Adjacent nets plus 50%. Why don't I build a harbor right here? Let's build a harbor right here. So we get more stuff. I like stuff. You like stuff. We all like stuff. It's as simple as that. A stronghold. Let's, uh, let's build a stronghold over here. Excellent. Let's continue to build more and more stuff. I will build a pasture here. Pastures are good for growth. I like growth. A hamlet is being recommended over there. That's something to keep in mind. Oops. There we go. And add a road. And I tell you what, next turn, we're going to be able to, to get that done and dusted. Build a lumber mill there or build a pasture. I kind of like the idea of building a pasture above everything else. I also really like the idea of a mine here. I can't build a mine there on this turn because I don't have the points. So I think we're going to build a pasture here. Ah, it's because in order to remove the, uh, the shrub, I need to get an extra, an extra order. So tell you what. Why don't I... Why don't I just build a lumber mill here? That's very, very lame. Tell you what. I can't even build a road there. Actually... Yeah, just buy an order. Buy an order in order to... In order to add a road there. And then that gets the city connected, which is, which is kind of nice. In fact, does it get the city connected? I don't think it actually gets the city connected. That's funny. Oh, yeah. No, there we go. It is definitely connected. Right, wonderful. Ooh, we can now build war elephants because we've got our our uh, our elephants connected, which is which is great. Do I care about war elephants? Uh, not particularly. I think I might just take the specialists, if I'm honest. We'll just queue up two specialists. I think that's probably in our best interests you know spread the borders increase our culture or increase our orders whatever yeah get that started i think that was a very 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 productive turn in fact yeah that was really really good little bit concerned oh another religion's been founded little bit concerned with the state of our food at this moment in time well hey we're now known as the warrior excellent quite nice. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And everyone else can just be retreated. Everyone else can just be retreated. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay. Where's the next, where's the next road going to be? And why shouldn't I throw everyone at it? Most probably because it's just not that wise of an idea. I'm going to build a farm. I'm just going to build a couple of sporadic farms to make sure that we've got enough of a farm supply. 
really. Uh, none of these tiles are particularly lush. Farm would be good down here, if that's at all possible. Or even over here, but that's not within our territory, so I guess that's a, a big old no. I tell you what, building an olive grove here is not a terrible idea at all, because it's going to allow us to equip a specialist. And if we're able to get a specialist in here, we can expand the borders and get access to these lush tiles, which then, of course, means that we're going to be able to get a few more farms, a few more high-tiered farms. That's what it's all about. Greece has declared war. I will take four extra orders. Has Greece got any troops nearby? Not particularly. However, that does kind of scare me a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's Babylon. That's Babylon. Okay, I don't think Greece is at all a worry. I'm going to move troops out of here. I'm going to move the axemen out of here and the archers out of here and see where we can stick them that's going to be slightly more helpful. I don't really think that there's much that we can do about this. Building a barracks over here, arguably a good thing to do. Get some better upgrades. Let's get some archers moved across as well and we'll get these two archers upgraded as well. In fact, maybe I just upgrade these two. Yeah, let's get these two guys upgraded to archers right now. So that next turn, they're immediately going to be able to attack the Greeks. Should the Greeks attack Capua? I presume that they're going to attack this area, this city up here. But that's just a guess. A colony of thinkers, artists, and merchants has sprung up among the lower classes in a border village. These exceptional commoners uh, hope to make a difference in their nation. And we should capitalize on this pool of young talent. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get a great scientist, shall we? 650 bucks. I'm doing very, very well for finance uh, at the moment. So that's really, really nice. Ah, okay. So it looks like this goal camp has been taken by the, by the Greeks, which means probably this goal camp down here has been taken by the Greeks too. Can I go and have a little look at what the situation is down here? This camp hasn't been taken yet. This camp also hasn't been taken. Right. I'm going to immediately reverse. Who is that? Is that that's a Greek troop? Are the Greeks at war with the, the Gauls? They are indeed. Okay. So that's something to consider. Strongly something to consider. We can get you upgraded to an Axeman. I think we'll do it. Sure. Upgrade you to an Axeman too. Nice. I can get you promoted as well, but uh, we'll have to do that next turn. Okay, I'm not really worried about Greece. They are stronger than me. However, I'm... I'm not exactly not powerful. I feel like I'm in a good place, to be honest. A good place in relation to them. That's not what I meant to do. can upgrade to a horse archer, but I can't do that after moving. That's fine. Maceman, let's get you moved over here. Yeah, nice. We're going to get a free military unit in just a second, which is kind of great. We've got one builder that we need to find a job for. An olive grove? Yeah, straight up an olive grove is, is brilliant. We've already talked about the border strat over here. There's definitely another border strat that we can employ in this part of the world. So that is good too. Let's start production on an Axeman. Let's go for it. There are multiple benefits for building military units. The, the biggest, of course, is that, you know, you end up with a unit that you can go to war with. The other advantage is that it allows you to accrue, you know, a whole bunch of food and a whole bunch of civics whilst you're not using those resources to build in the city. So that's kind of nice. Uh, gain a war elephant in Rome in two years. Man, I tell you what, Greece, you guys ain't going to be happy about this. Oh, you love to see it. Absolutely annihilated. Absolutely annihilated. Now that Kapua thrives, its elders wish to do more for the poor. A proposal for welfare provisions in Kapua reaches the court. Is that even how you say it? I don't even know if you do. Gain Grain Dole. 
Uh, no, not bothered at all. Use the money to influence key nobilities. Yes, that's exactly what I would like to do. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Let's influence the nobles. I mean, look, it's worth legitimacy in order to keep these guys happy. The vast majority, I think, of my, of my cities are Claudius cities. And therefore, if, if the Claudius people are happy, then, then I'm happy. That's pretty much how it is. That is pretty much how it is. Right, do I want to push on to the Greeks? I don't really think that I do. Danish incursions have the military on high alert. Uh, muster additional militia. Or gain a moat. Where is Ostia? Ostia is... Ostia is over here. Do I really need a moat or do I need to gain two militia? Now, militia, I don't even, I don't even think I've built any militia. They got a strength of three. So they're not exactly terrible. They're not exactly terrible, but they're not exactly good either, to be honest. I think I'd rather actually just take a moat. Yeah, a moat is a defensive structure, and therefore we will be less prone to losing the city. Which is always a good thing, right? It's always good to be less prone to losing a city. I think I also need to start realistically thinking about how I'm going to take some cities away from, away from Greece. Yeah, I'm going to build a farm over here. Because we've got such a large army, it is costing us a rather a rather large amount of food each and every turn. 28, 28 units, or 28 food, because we've got 13 units. It's quite something. It's quite something. Where are we going to build stuff? We build a pasture over there. It's a little bit close to the enemy borders, but if we get a pasture down, then maybe we can get somebody to work it. We can expand outwards again. Right. Beneventum is really a, a really, really great place. I mean, look at the amount of training points that we're getting. It's actually quite obscene. Let's let's honestly commit to building more specialists, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, we need a little bit more food in order to do that. In order to buy specialists. But uh, we'll get it. We'll get it eventually. Move you across here. Move you across there. Mm, that's silly. Yeah, we'll leave you there for now. It's just as defense against the dark arts. And also Greece. We just want to make sure... That nobody can uh, can damage our worker. Ideally, that's uh, that's kind of what we're after. Move the archers forward just a smidgen. We need to get a couple of generals in play, so that we're able to capitalize on our super advanced troops. But apart from that, everything is actually in a in an all right situation. There's definitely ah yeah, see attacked. That's exactly why I wanted to make sure that we had a a unit over here. Oh, wow. That's... That's something. That is something. Okay, well, I am... I am mad. I am mad. That is utterly infuriating. Okay, well, you know what? You have... You have... You have got... You have got my attention. You have absolutely got my attention. You're a strength of five. You're a strength of seven. Let's let's capitalize on uh, let's capitalize on this opportunity, eh? So let's move you over here. Let's get you to march. Right in there. Right in there. Right in there. Right in there. Yep. Let's get you to attack those guys. Fine. Yep. I mean, look, I'm not messing around. I'm not playing here. I am not playing. No siree. Right. Ideally, I'd like to be able to attack you. 14. Really? It's going to take me 14 points to get into there? I think that's something that I'm okay with. March. 10 points. 
one. And there's just no way that we can get one more single attack out. I don't think so, unfortunately. Not unless I buy... I tell you what, there totally is. I need to buy four points in order to make it happen. But it's worth it. In fact, I'm going to need to buy a fifth as well. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I haven't even looked at my events. It's not even not even a problem. Uh, oh man, I need to upset the... I need to either go to war. I need to either go to war with the Syria. Or I just need to... Oh my God. Why is it that the families are so darned challenging to deal with here? Don't really care what you study. It's not a problem. Gain walls or gain 200 military points. I think military points in the circumstances a lot more important. Truth be told, I need more orders. I need way more orders. But I just, uh, I ain't got them at the moment. Axemen, yep, we'll queue up an Axemen in order to make sure that we're able to survive the onslaught of Greece. But truth be told, Greece is stronger. However, I have, you know, destroyed a significant amount of the the Greek units around here. Like, this is actually okay. That's less than ideal. But, I mean, look. If he focuses on my units and brings a couple of individual units down. Wow. Okay, that's a war elephant there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is interesting. That is interesting. That is very interesting. I think I'm going to be taking a horse archer. I'm going to be taking a horse archer. I absolutely am. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, this is this is going to be a problem. I tell you what. I tell you what. We're going to have to continue to be scared in the next episode. That's right. You know what they say. End on a cliffhanger. Something, something. I'm sure there's a quote about cliffhangers or something somewhere. Anyway, ladies and gents, thanks as ever to the fantastic Open a Potato Incorporated Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash open a potato. Also, massive thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus patrons. Thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Old World, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.